JR with Focus on Asia. Today we're gonna go head out to the Capas National Memorial in Carpus, Tarlac. About to cross this uh, Bamban Bridge here and then head on up to Capas. So uh, come along with us. All right, here we go. here at the uh, Kapas Tarlac National Shrine. You can see this right here. I'll read this inscription as I pan around. Tired, hungry, defenders like heroes old held their ground brave and true to the last man the smoke of battle cleared a crimson flood lay like a carpet on the hollowed ground Heroes, you died not in vain. New blood picked up your cry in one united sound until victory, the fight must go on. Each Filipino heart, a bataan. Juan L. Rosso, World War II veteran. So this side all the way down. all the Filipino names lost their lives World War two go ahead and walk down here this other side. Enormous. Looks like they got some lights over here, lighted up at night. Don't know if it's uh, every night or maybe special occasions. That's a lot of names. We're only on F's. Go out here. 
in the grass. Official troop count on Bataan, April 13th, 1942, 74,800 Filipinos and 11,796 Americans. Estimated death march. April 9th through the 15th, 1942, 60,600 Filipinos and 9,900 Americans. Kapas National Shrine, established as Camp O'Donnell in 1940 as cantonment center for the military training of the Filipino youth, became cantonment and mobilization center of the 71st Division PA USAFFE on July 15, 1941 as ordered by U.S. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt transformed into a prisoner of war camp by the Japanese Imperial Forces after the fall of Bataan and the surrender of the Filipino and American troops renamed Kappa's prisoners of war concentration camp around 60,500 Filipino and American prisoners of war were herded in this camp many became weak sick and eventually passed away on July 25th 1942 approximately 30,000 Filipino American prisoners died of sickness and malnutrition while under detention. Became part of Clark Air Base Military Reservation after World War II. Turned over to the Philippine government on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the Bataan Day, April 9, 1982. Declared as Kapus National Shrine by Proclamation Number 842, dated December. 7th 1991 by President Corazon Aquino. So right here shows estimated defenders who reached Kappas. So this this site here 45,692 Filipinos that's out of 60,600 that started the march and then uh, 9,300 Americans that's out of 9,900 and then uh, a lot of them split off to Camp O'Donnell, which is pretty close by. And then some of them went up to the uh, Cabana Tuan. I'm probably mispronouncing that. That's another uh, memorial site that I have a video on that we visited. If you go to, uh, I have a playlist, I think, World War II sites. Now I have uh, the memorials and stuff that we visited so far. So still out here at the uh, Kapas National Shrine. If you're so uh, inclined, you can see uh, they have picnic tables so you could bring up bring a lunch with you it's nice and cool got a uh, got a dog over here got some chickens <laughs> and uh, they do have a really nice uh, bathroom over here so come up spend a little time under these trees nice trees enjoy your time Pay your respect at the uh, shrine. These people over here have been loud as heck. They could get some sort of picture taking thing going on. I don't know what they're doing. So this is the uh, road you come in. Just for a little info for anybody that wants to come up here. Park over here in the grass. That's the uh, little Godzilla there, the truck. Up there is your shrine. You can see the top of it through the trees. And then down this way, don't miss out on it on this this side. There's some memorials down here through that garden, and you have uh, one of the um, train cars that the prisoners were um, transported in on part of the uh, to get up here from from part of the the death march. So 
we'll go check out these uh, memorials. So here's your uh, placard for the box car. I was calling it a train car, but box car. Uh, after the death march, which claimed many lives, Filipino and American prisoners of war, having walked 105 kilometers from Maravellas and Bagac Bataan under the intense April heat, were assembled in San Fernando, Pampanga, and were loaded into boxcars. This boxcar and many like it were used to transport Filipino and American prisoners of war, the defenders of Bataan and Corregidor, from San Fernando to prison camps in Capas Tarlac after the long march. It was one of the many freight cars of the Manila Railroad Company before World War II, measuring about six feet long, eight feet wide, and six feet high. This box boxcar had wooden walls and metal roof. A larger version made of steel was 33 feet long, seven feet high, and eight feet wide. At San Fernando, the prisoners were loaded into the boxcars by the Japanese guards who used their rifle butts and bayonets to squeeze more people than capacity into the boxcars. 50 to 60 men were forced into this particular type of car. As many as 150 to 160 men were crammed into the larger version of this boxcar. Boxcars so tightly packed that it became impossible to sit down. The only source of ventilation and air was a tiny slit in the door of each boxcar. The car under the sweltering sun rapidly became an oven and men suffocated in the heat. Those afflicted with dysentery could not control their defecation and soon the floor of the car was filthy with excrement, urine, and vomit. Many died where they stood in the boxcars. This boxcar is the last known surviving freight car of its kind and is a mute witness to the human sacrifice and hero heroism of all those who were victims of the Bataan Death March. It serves as a memorial to the horrors of war and to man's inhumanity to his fellow man. So again, here's the road you come up. So don't miss uh, this side of the memorial. This is the, uh, what I assume is the American side. I can see American flag up there on, on one memorial. I may have missed it, but on the, the large shrine, I think that was purely Filipino names. I didn't go name by name, but every group I looked at was, was Filipino. So I think this over here is probably where the American names are. I mean, there's a couple other, obviously, uh, memorials to what the aunts, those that died. So this, uh, this placard here is getting old, hard to read. Defenders of Bataan Corregidor, Capas Prisoners of War Memorial, World War II gravesite of USAFFE POWs. On these hallowed grounds, thousands of USAFFE Filipino and American prisoners of war held cap in 1942 to 43 died of disease starvation and neglect their remains were unceremoniously dumped and buried in hastily dug common graves within this area i'll have a picture if you want to read the rest of the uh, placard So I guess they segregated out what I'm reading here into two groups, Filipino POW group and American POW group. I'll take pictures of each of these uh, and have them at the end of the video. There's Miss Cecilia. Hello, Miss Cecilia very hot <laughs> yeah we got out here kind of late um, one thing to keep in mind if you're going by Google it will take you on the expressway unfortunately this part of the expressway that comes up to closer to here is not open um, there's some 
guards there. Um, basically, they let a few cars go in front of us. And uh, I wasn't about to, uh, they wanted money, basically. So I just turned around and got on the uh, MacArthur and came up. And uh, it's pretty easy to find. Just detour around. Don't, don't take the way it tells you to take the expressway up. So here's uh, in memory of the American dead, O'Donnell war personnel, obviously. Battling bastards of Bataan. Courage is a quality God has seen fit to dispense with utmost care. The men of Bataan were his chosen favorites. Major General Edward P. King, Jr., U United States Army, Commanding General, Luzon Forces, 1942. So basically this is uh, the men and women, American. Who perished here? I think uh, there's a lot of names on here. Some of these might be from the the march itself, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we'll just close out this video with uh, this appropriate saying. Never so more true than in uh, World War II. Freedom is not free. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate our subscribers. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Take care.